Hi, welcome to Turn Right Machine Works. My name is Keith. Today I'd like to touch a little bit about desiccant and, uh, and how to bring it back to life. Um, you know, there's talk about re, uh, rejuvenating desiccant uh, materials. Desiccant is a silicon gel uh, that absorbs about 35% its own weight in vapor uh, moisture. And um, it, uh, it changes colors because of the cobalt uh, chloride salt that's uh, mixed in with it. And uh, it, it, it has a chemical reaction that uh, a certain amount of moisture gets in there, which is right around 10-12% its own weight is, is turning time. So it, it's changing really before it even gets maxed because if it can, if it can uh, actually contract 35% its weight, um, 10, 12 percent or so is where it's changing color, and they and they want you to uh, change it out at that time. Um, but these um, they're supposed to be rejuvenable, and uh, and that's what uh, we're going to find out. This is a bag of used desiccant here, and we're going to rejuvenate this. Uh, this is going to be our first attempt here, and we're about ready to change this out now. We've got this color all the way up to about here, and we just barely have a little bit of blue left in here. Now here's a, on the side of my uh, holder here, it gives you, uh, this is the color that it is when it's uh, brand new and that's within 2% of its own weight in there and then 20% uh, and then 40, you know, and you need to replace it when it gets down into here about the same color that we're talking about right here, alright, it's a pretty good match. Okay, we're gonna, we're gonna be using my rod oven here to uh, dry or rejuvenate the desiccant material. Um, I do have to chuckle. This is going to be the first time I've even plugged this thing in. Uh, <laughs> there's a little suggestion that this was this was a hard-on uh, purchase here, um, and I had to have it. Uh, actually, I I did have a welding job that was going to validate uh, actually having a rod oven. And when you're using low hydrogen rods, you do need to have them controlled as far as the moisture and the quality of your well and that's how you get them. So let's go ahead and we don't need the instructions and uh, oh, here's the cord. Alright, we're going to get this plugged in. Alright, well she is warming up and we set our thermostat to 225. Okay, this is the little instructions and filter information and all that stuff that actually came in the new box of desiccant there. And I was kind of reading through here and it actually says uh, desiccant regeneration. For silica gel, that's what we got here, pour out used pink desiccant into flat pan. Uh, you know, that sounds like a cookie sheet to me. Um, place pink desiccant in 350 degree oven, that means that one in the house, um, for approximately three hours or until desiccant color has changed back to blue. Now, right here they're telling you that you can heat this to 350 degrees, whereas the other company was it, it, selling up their, their product there was telling you that desiccant can burn at 302. Um, so anyway, we're still we're still kind of following a combination of the two um, because they're basically they're going to, until desiccant color has changed back to blue. And the other one's telling you that just by the turning back to blue, so you could be at 9% moisture and it could be blue. Um, so anyway, but we're, uh, we've been in about a half an hour now and we're at 220. And I'm going to open it up here, and of course we, we're getting a little bit of steam. In fact, my glasses are steaming a little bit. And you can see in there the blue actually starting to come back right around the edge where it's laying uh, right against that screeny. So it is on its way back to generating, and I don't really see a need. I would rather have it thorough and I think thorough is going to be a little bit lower temperature. We know it's changing so that we're at least above what they said to 212 degrees in the other book. So right now it is 
there is truth in that information and that's the way I'm going to take it. So we're going to let this sit in here. We're going to continue and we're going to go for the long haul because I like to get it back down to the original state. Okay, we kind of set up a little tray here. Last week, Jody from WallyTipsAndTrick.com showed us how to make uh, do-it-yourself desiccant uh, dryer to put in line for an argon system. And, uh, and I told him I was going to go ahead and, and create uh, my own. And, um, and I, just, I kind of picked up a few different things. I had some PVC solid stock uh, laying around here. This is about 2 inch diameter. And this is going to be uh, uh, the plug-ins that will slip into this piece of cast acrylic that I, I purchased. And I picked up uh, some hose uh, uh, fittings here at the end. And for the inside here, this is actually exhaust uh, uh, diffusers. Um, they're about a buck uh, and a half each or so. And this is like a porous stone, but it's a bronze or brass material. It also breaks down and becomes a 50 micron filter. And will still give the flow uh, that you want through it. And I'm going to use these instead of the screen material on the inside. Uh, uh, I just eyeballed these uh, in there and I said, hey, this is great. One hole will be drilled through here and the quarter inch tap will tap one side of it and the quarter inch tap will tap the other side. These screw on in and, um, you know, we'll, we'll be done. Now we're going to go ahead and we're going to start out. We're going to go ahead and put this in the lathe and we're going to be cutting off our sections there. And we're going to kind of plan on how many uh, inches we want this to be here. I don't foresee it really being a big item. This is an inch and a quarter on the inside there. And by the time we take up a little bit of space there, you know, we're, we're talking about a small unit that just be put in line. Uh, and the only difference between what uh, Jody put together and what I'm putting together is, is I'm just going to, I'm going to have some threads and there's going to be a little bit of machine work into this, but um, that's what uh, this shop's all about. And uh, this is going to be a little education. Here's some acrylic. You know, I haven't done any plastic turning. So I thought this would be kind of a, a good exercise at least to show you some plastic turning. And some PVC turning. Alright, we, uh, we're square here, we got our uh, uh, carbide uh, parting tool in here. Now, in the information when I purchased this in the book there, it did say that cast acrylic is turned with carbide tooling. So, this should be a piece of cake. side here as this broke through uh, whether it could have went a little easier uh, but I did want to note that you know you can shatter and you can crack this so there's the first sign of, of uh, temperamental to work with this acrylic okay I babied it at that time and I didn't get any uh, I didn't get any breakage on that so it's kind of Kind of tells you, you know, you just got to baby it a little bit.
almost looks like glass threads, huh? <laughs> Woo! We get an O-ring on here. And right there is going to be our seal. We'll have a screw on cap that will have the fitting going through and come over and seal right around that outside diameter. Uh, I'm stopping here to take a couple seconds to uh, thank uh, Jay. Jay uh, is on YouTube there um, and uh, he, he uh, sent me a personal message and asked me if I, if I could uh, use a, a CA holder for uh, a Laura CA holder and uh, this just arrived yesterday and uh, and I'm going to go ahead and put it to use there today and that thing's never been on anything that thing is like brand, brand new thank you very much Jay and like I said, you know, you think of something that you might need, uh, um, hey, I might have it. Uh, but anyway, I'm going to get a tool bit in here, and I think I, I might even put, the, I might put a boring bit in here. Uh, but, uh, yeah, perfect. And uh, the one thing that I do like about the CA is the V-groove in the bottom. Uh, so this, is, this makes two out of what I've got here. Uh, so I've got six up there, seven. Thank you very much. Okay, it's, uh, you know, 504 here, all right. Let's take a look, see what we got in here now. Last time my glasses get all steamed up when the heat comes out. Oh yeah, she's, uh, she's really broad and thickening in here. And uh, center's getting pretty light. Very nice. Coming back to life. Okay, this is our uh, tap size for the uh, quarter inch pipe plug. And now we're gonna go ahead and bore the, uh, the relief inside. Start opening it up, give it some room. Thank you. 